He joins family, friends, and community members in recognizing Deborah Bremer and her outstanding contributions to the community on Saturday, March 11th, 2023. Whereas Deborah Bremer has worked tirelessly in Wisconsin's art community as a gallerist, curator, art historian, educator, and community galvanizer, introducing art to socially varied audiences across boundaries of race, age, education, economics, and gender. And Deborah Bremer founded the Portrait Society of Contemporary Art in Milwaukee, which became an art hub within the city, showcasing eclectic and creative art from both local and national artists, and giving a voice to otherwise overlooked artists, as well as establishing a nonprofit program on the wing through which underrepresented populations are able to have creative experiences and outlets. Deborah Bremer has influenced many as the founder of Art Muscle Magazine, which empowered vital conversations. <laughs> Across, uh, across the art scene as an educator for the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design, where we are today, for 10 years as a gallerist who has promoted a broad range of Milwaukee artists locally and nationally, and as an art critic whose astute, beautiful writing has served as an inspiration for others. And whereas Deborah Bremer has continued her work of bringing attention to complex public issues through creative outlets with her most recent endeavor, which we're all seeing today, Art Against the Odds, an exhibition of Wisconsin prison art a show featuring the artwork of 65 prison artists from around the state. Whereas the city of Milwaukee commends Deborah Bremer for her many years of dedicated service to all members of the community through her work, her work as a scholar, a visionary, a leader, and an advocate, and wishes her many more years of success. Now therefore I, on his behalf, Cavalier Johnson, mayor of the city of Milwaukee, do proclaim today, so it's better we did it today, <laughs> you know, you know, you lived half the day without knowing it was your day. Uh, do proclaim today, Saturday, March 11th, 2023, to be Deborah Bremer Day in the city. a new book that he's read or a new uh, something that he, a thought he's had uh, 
you know, a, a realization. And so it's been this ongoing, really heightened and beautiful conversation. And the artists have um, given so much. You've been here week after week. You've done tours. You've talked to the public. And, and, and often it took a lot of courage. Um, there's been a lot of emotion. And you're all just outstanding. I don't know if anyone else wants to say anything, but I do have a charge to you all. Um, there's been an incredible amount of interest and emotion around this. People have even burst out weeping. And we have a system in Wisconsin, if you heard the panel, that um, doesn't provide adequate support uh, and counseling in prison and doesn't support people as they return to the community. And moreover, we did away with the possibility of parole when under um, Governor Thompson we put in truth and sentencing, which means you have to serve the amount of time that you're given by the court, irrespective of whether if through counseling or your artwork and your diligence in um, confronting the problems that might have led you to um, prison in the first place, you can't get out until a date. There's no consideration for growth and change or anything. And as you can see from this artwork, um, that's probably not appropriate. We ought to uh, have the old system back or a better system. So my charge to you is think about what can be done about this. We're the people who can talk to the legislators, to the Department of Corrections, to everyone. And um, you know, feel free to contact me or contact anyone with any ideas you may have. And I just want to also commend people as a living example, like Sarah, who, for instance, came out, and um, her work are the uh, retinas on the on the wall over there, the multicolored ones, and now works with sex traffickers. I mean, in help, helping them avoid their problems and things like that. And that's the quality of the people who come out of prison, and um, probably should be out sooner. So. Let me do one more show, if you don't mind. Um, Emma? <laughs> um, Emma is a Mayat student, and it's spring break, so there are no Mayat students among us, because they're all gone. But we had a team of Mayat students who were docents through the entire seven weeks. They gave tours on Wednesdays and Saturdays throughout the entire exhibition. They were outstanding what they brought, not just learning about the show, but what they brought of their own uh, interpretation of the work. And it's just been, one of the best parts of the show has been working with you guys. So thank you. Is there anyone?